Coach Hood, congratulations on a great season. Uh, incredible football game we just saw. One of the best football games we'll probably ever have in a state championship by both teams. And uh, just make any opening comments you want to make, and then we'll open up for questions. This is Coach Jerry Hood, coach of the Class 6A runner-up, Clay Chaffel Cougars. Well, here's, here's the thing that we preach all the time, that football is a game, and we hope to learn some lessons that we can carry on with our life. And I tell them all the time, I love you, win or lose. And so when we do lose, I got to prove I love them. And I do. I'm very proud of this group. 29 and 1 over the last two years. That's a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, made too many mistakes against a good team. Bottom line, you can't snap it over the head. You can't miss field goals. You can't drop passes. You got to protect better. You got to defend better. But look, I got an incredible staff. I love these young men, all of them. And you know, we're on a, we're on a higher purpose mission to let a loss in the state championship game affect us. Our relationship is strong. Questions for players or coach? This is for any players. Can you just comment on the atmosphere in Bryant Denny and what it was like to play? Atmosphere in Bryant Denny, what was it like? I feel, I feel like both schools came out to support the teams, and it was a great atmosphere in the game. Anybody else want to comment on that? Okay. Other questions? Y'all pick the guys that don't talk a lot anyway. <laughs> Josh, congratulations, you were right. <laughs> J Jerry, what did they do to slow you? Nobody has really slowed you guys down much. You were averaging 50 points. What did they do that caused you guys problems that nobody else was able to do? Well, we had trouble. All right, go ahead. Now, I'll say that they really didn't slow us down. We just made mistakes. So we make my own mistakes. That's how they slow us. That's how we get stopped. Yeah, one of the things, one of the things I saw, Josh, you know, had trouble with one of their defensive ends. Got a couple of sacks. That puts us in a bad situation. And then, you know, when you don't have the ball the first quarter, that, that doesn't help either. So, you know, Ty's right. We had a lot of mistakes. We, we had a lot of internal mistakes tonight that we don't usually make. And you can't make in a big game. And, and you know, what was odd about it is we've been here before with the same snapper. And, you know, those things just happen. I love that kid, too. He's an incredible person. Other questions? Coach, what was the challenge on uh, on defense? Uh, I know some might be a little obvious, but I should ask also ask, how did you plan to address it going into the game? You mean as far as Spanish Ford is concerned, or defensive challenge? Like who the heck are we gonna put out there because everybody's hurt? Which one? Well, you know, Spanish Ford had this uh, situation where the quarterback is a really good runner. I think, you know, we thought his shoulder was hurt last week and. Whatever that kid does, I mean, he's incredible because I think he was hurting early in the in the game because his his throws were not very good. Or when it mattered late, he made made some very good throws. I was proud of our defense, so there are a bunch of times I gave the offense a chance to win the football game. You know, we they they did a great job because the boy can run it, he can throw it, and you know he, he's the key. He's the whole key. We knew that. For any of you guys, were you guys surprised at all that they went for it instead of punted at the end? Well, I kind of figured that they was going to go for it and try to get the first down because the first down would have ended the game. So, yeah. Other questions? Players or coach? Nick, on defense, could you answer that question and, and, and speak about the, the challenges of going up against their, uh, their offense? Um, well, yeah, I, I knew they wasn't going to. Uh, on that last drive, knowing that um, if we stopped them, our offense would probably go down the field and score. So, but you know, they was a, a great team. Uh, we just didn't make enough uh, big plays to uh, stop. Them. Other questions? Yeah, this is for Ty, um, and, and for any other player that wants to go. You guys were down. You were down big, and you know I think a lot of people take it for granted that Clay Chalkville, you know, is used to just walking over people. Talk about the fight that this team showed tonight. That is something that uh, is something new, but people learned about the quality of guys that you can be. Well, also that we came out there with the right mentality, and they did too. So like we knew it was going to be a good game. They were going to come out there and fight. So we just had to do the same thing, but they just ended up on top with our mistakes. So. Anybody else? Anybody else want to address that? 
Sheldon, one of the things we talk about a lot, and I think you, as you see this, we talk about staying level all the time. You'll never see us get too emotional or too down. We just play the next play. Something good is going to happen at some point. It got us back in the game. So we, we practice that mentality. That's our mentality in our program. TJ, in a good way, you guys are not accustomed to losing. What, I don't want to say what does it feel like, but um, this experience, what do you hope to, to gather out of this experience? Maybe that's a good way to, to, to put it. Well, I feel like we, we went out and played our hearts out. We left it all on the field. So the loss not, is not as bad as if we would not have played as good or to our best abilities. But I think the loss is better for the kids coming up next year and the years to come. They won't just be expecting to win. They'll know how it, how it feels to lose, so they don't want to win even more. Coach, that's an incredible answer. How, how, is that not unbelievable? unbelievable? I don't know if it's his own, but is that not unbelievable? I mean, just spoke in the whole stadium. That's exactly right. Now, you know, that is that is a microcosm of Clay Chalfa football right there. The, the loss is it's not fatal. You know, there's a lot of things in life that are fatal. This is not fatal. They had an incredible year. They've made the city of Clay proud. They've made Jefferson County Schools proud. And they are incredible kids that you'll be hearing about for a long, long time. Nico, you're the guy that's back next year on this team. Uh, if you could speak about that, uh, the challenge of trying to get back to trying to get back here, uh, trying to keep on the tradition. Um, yeah, because we're losing a, a great group of guys this year. Um, so I'm telling next year to just get better. You know, often co coaching staff to make us better every day. Well, coach, I know y'all want to get back to your team. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you guys.